Now we are going to demonstrate a very interesting research work where we compute the interactions between a particular type of protein that is present in our lung to address lung disease by doing supercomputations with modern technologies right here at the University of Bridgeport. In this work, our goal is to quantify very precisely all the proteins that is present in a lung and the very early lung formation mechanism that can lead to future diagnostic tools and advanced biosensor formation. Now my PhD students Bhushan Dharmadikari and a master student Yun Feng Yang, who is James, they're going to demonstrate how this work is done. In this experiment, we are trying to compute the interaction between proteins and carbon nanotube. Now, these interactions are very important to make the biosensors which can quantify or which can uh, detect these proteins uh, at very small level. Now, we are working with uh, pulmonary surfactant proteins which are responsible for the normal operation of lungs. And in premature babies, the deficiency of these, these, these uh, proteins, they cause uh, even death if uh, uh, due to infant respiratory distress syndrome. These proteins, they are really important for the normal functioning of lungs, especially in newborns. Now, um, these proteins, they start developing uh, in, the, in fetus around the fourth month of pregnancy. Now, in case of deficiency of these proteins, such in case of uh, prematurely born infants, uh, the lung functioning is not, not normal and mm, the babies, they die uh, because of uh, uh, lung failure. Now in infants, this syndrome you know, is known as infant respiratory distress syndrome. These proteins, they are present in very small quantities in fetal serum. Now to measure that quantity of protein, we need nanoscale structure or very small structure which can identify these proteins. Now for that we are using nanotubes as a sensor material. Now to develop any nanosensors, first we have to see that the biomaterial or the protein which we are targeted is compatible with the nanomaterial or the nanotube. Uh, so to do that we have to do a very high scale computing. Uh, well here is an example. Uh, to demonstrate that how this protein is interacting with the carbon nanotube. This is pulmonary surfactant protein type A. And uh, to do this computation, uh, this is a overall 100 nanoseconds of computation. Now the protein, it changes its conformation around the tube in femtoseconds. That is 10 raised to negative 15 seconds. So now we have computed 100 nanoseconds of calculation. So in real time lifespan, that is up to 15 to 20 years of protein lifespan that we have computed. The interaction between protein and nanotube is very complex and we need to compute each and every interaction of protein with carbon nanotube to fabricate uh, state of the art uh, nanosensors. Well, these sensors, they can detect, uh, uh, they will only need a nanoliters or picoliters of samples and they can pick up these proteins from those samples. So uh, first, these proteins, how they interact with carbon nanotube is really important to fabricate any nanostructures. This experiment is important for the early detection of infant respiratory distress syndrome caused in premature babies because of deficiency of pulmonary surfactant proteins. Uh, with this development of these nano uh, biosensors, we can be able to detect the proteins in very early stage and we can stand by for any further complications uh, uh, which may develop in respiratory system of prematurely babies. So for this, we are using uh, a state-of-the-art supercomputers in Brookhaven National Lab uh, and this is my partner James, he's working with me on uh, uh, a computation of a, a protein with carbon nanotube here at the University of Bridgeport at Dr. Prabir Patra's lab. 